What's up guys? This video is gonna be about strength and strength standards and how you compare to other people who train for strength. So first out, I think that the sport of powerlifting has quite good example of how you can compare your strength to other people in different weight categories. And they have used the Wilkes formula for many years and now they have introduced the IPF points system. I think this past year they both might have sm some small flaws, but other than that they are quite good at measuring how you compare to a bigger guy for example. Another good resource, if you don't compete yet, is this website called Symmetric Strength. And I will show you in a minute how you can fill in your own maxes and uh, see how you compare. But before I go in, dive into that topic, I just want to say that um, when you're estimating maxes, the maxes can of course fluctuate depending on if you're peaked and if you're estimating the maxes. So the best way to find out your max is basically just test it sometime when you have been for it. The 100 max calculators are quite good as well, but the more reps you do, the less accurate the calculator will become. So if you do like a 10 rep max and estimate your 100 max from that, it can differ quite much. Maybe a 3 rep max or 5 rep max, I would say, are quite a quite good estimate on your 1 rep max. So. Yeah, so let's go on the internet. Now we're here on the Symmetric Strength website. And here you can choose first your unit of measure and your calculations. And just around here the nearest kilogram for the most accurate max. And then you enter the back squat, deadlift, bench. And if you know your overhead press or chin up maxes as well. I don't and I weigh currently set for kilos and I'm 27 so let's just for fun enter my recent max five rep maxes so 167.5 and uh, I managed to get five reps with that and my poor deadlift, I did four, even though I had reps in the tank, but just leave it at there, at that. And then my bench was 120 times five, so let's see how I do. And according to this, as you see, my deadlift is substantially weaker than, than my squat. Uh, according to most, to average people, or relative to, to other people, my, my strength level. And here you can also see, for example, that my 100 max is estimated 195, this body weight. And better than the average, and the deadlift is less. And my bench is quite equal. And here's also a little illustration what is weak and strong on your body. But I don't think that's too important right there. And here would be my estimated powerlifting total. Um, and here is maybe this, which I was thinking about. Uh, for my weight, 74 kilo weight class in the powerlifting realm, <laughs> you can see that I am just over this exceptional. So that's decent, I would say. And my deadlift is still just on the advanced level. 
because my estimated one rep max on the squat is 195, deadlift 203 and bench 140. But as you might know, I hit the 205 deadlift in competition, which was fairly easy. So in reality, I think I could get 210 kilos, but just put this instead. Yeah, so now it's <laughs> a bit less. Yeah, whatever. Um, my deadlift is still, um, I was looking for, sorry, my deadlift is still just on the advanced level as my bench press. My back squat is exceptional. Yeah, here you can see the strength classifications as well. Um, for it to get to advanced. The lifter has taken a consistent and structured approach to strength training and dieting for multiple years. At this level, the individual is among the strongest and average commercial gym. And many of this category compete in strength sports. So that is true for me, I would say. And to get the exceptional, as my squat is an exceptional lift for me now, so lifter in this category have Typically taking consistent structured approach to diet and strength training for majority of their adult life and uh, competitive at the regional level. And for many lifters this level is near maximum genetic potential without the use of performing enhancing drugs. If you're reading this, I'm maybe approaching soon my maximal potential, but I don't believe that still. Because I still have many years to grind. And then if you look at this Elite and world class to even get in the world class category, um, you have to have there it says that gifted individuals who also spend lifetime of rigorous structured training and dieting. So I'm also pointing this out that if you want to be a world champion in this sport, you also have to have the genetics for it. Sorry to crush your dreams, but that's the truth of it. If you want to become the elite of the elite, of course you can train and um, compete in powerlifting for the fun of it and to evolve yourself, get stronger, but the best of the best always have the best genetics for it. So that's just plain and simple how it is. But here it was how you compare to other lifters and to get myself into the elite category, I had to, to squat 216 kilos at this body weight. So that's a very good squat. Um, and then deadlift and 248. And also these numbers here, you have to be built for the lift itself. I mean... I would say I'm better built for squat and bench, so my deadlift is proportionally weaker for me, so. And I still haven't touched on my bench press. I'm almost at the exceptional level. Uh, we'll see what I do in bench nationals in late February, how much I will bench then. And I'm actually, my goal is to eat the three plate or 140 kilos in the competition, um, 74 kilo class. I'm most likely going up from there, so I'm saying this now that it might be my last competition as a 74 kilo lifter. Let's say your body weight is 120 kilos. No, just ignore my maxes at this point, but. If you weigh 120 kilos, then you can see that those numbers have changed dramatically. Um, for example, my bench at my body weight was 143 kilo at the exceptional level. Now it has increased to 179. So, so if you didn't really know, the body weight in influences your lifting a lot more than you might have believed, but now I'm curious to know if any of you guys 
uh, as a lift that's considered world class, comment down below in the comment section. And sorry to guys, I just went with kilos here, so if you're counting in pounds, you have to do the conversion yourself. I'm sorry about that, but other than that, that's my video for today. And until next time, make some gains. Bound only by frozen memories